Now, this was an odd one for me, that the way I started watching this next one. Um, it was sort of, and Luke will know as soon as I start talking about it and my experience viewing it, what it is. I started watching it on repeats on afternoons on Morph 4. Um, I know what it is! <laughs> Even I know what it is! It's The Good Wife. It grew into something that I really started to get interested in, watch sort of the first two on these repeats, and then after that, online, and then subsequently on Morph 4 in the evenings, I think, with Season 5, which, again... There's a lot of these that season five is the best season of, in my eyes. 24 and now The Good Wife. I think this is the most sort of soapy of the, of the, mm. uh, of the list. But again, yeah. really well written. Again, well, the Gilmore a... Girls, is, I, I always presume, is soapy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I see what it is. Yeah, it is. Sort it, of, yeah. Uh, and both of uh, so. husband-wife teams, the Gilmore Girls. Yeah, and that's the, true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. The Kings, in this case. I think the link between all of these would be writers who have a real love for the characters of their things rather than the stories. Obviously, you need to have a good story, but if you haven't got the characters, then you don't have the show. And I think the Kings have a real love for Yuliana Margulies' character. I mean, I've talked. we know the show, really. We've talked about we it. We know it, yeah. You know, she starts off as the sort of white politician's wife. Then she has to go back to uh, being a lawyer gets in with one of her old law school colleagues who works at a prestigious firm and then as it goes on she works at the ranks of the law firm uh, but can you remember why you would have just started it in the afternoons and why it grabbed you I think I I, I, well there was nothing else on when you know that sort of time countdown was on no I think it was before countdown I think it was on like (laughs) countdown (laughs) <laughs> All right, then. because it was sort of the two seasons together I think it was uh, I'm one a day I think it was more than if I'd watched it linearly one a week mm. you get to know the characters quicker that way and I think certainly towards the end of season two the show came into its own I think that it has that core of being a legal drama so you get the case of the week but you also get the interplay between the characters I think as well what helped this was that the very unique character of uh, Kalinda, played by uh, Archie Panjabi, who I think is is a different entity to anything you've seen in a legal drama before. I mean, I had enjoyed uh, Ali McBeal and, and the Boston Legal and things like that I'd enjoyed before, but they were very much sort of almost like comic dramas, whereas this yeah. is a drama first and foremost. It's very slick, very well produced, but has that level of emotion as well. Certainly... Um, season five, uh, when a prominent character gets shot and killed, um, there is a, a lot that goes on, and 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 I think there you go, you you realise how much you got to love the characters over time because that hits you really hard. It's a show that maybe trailed off in its final two seasons as they lost. I think you kind of have to just yeah. assume that's going to happen with an American show. I think when you lose go... prominent characters, I think. Mm. Matt's Desert Island Dramas. I suffer from a condition, tardive dyskinesia, which is really, this is a funny word for a neurological disorder. And it makes me do this. And this. And blah. <laughs> but, uh, Uh-oh. if you just look at me long enough, you get used to it. So, um, you know, feel free to look. And I, I won't mind. Now, the good news is, these pills. I, I um, take these every few hours and, and they don't make the symptoms disappear completely, but they do diminish. Objection! Approach the bench. Your Honor, defense counsel is using voir dire to argue his case. You have to explain that to me. This whole case hinges on a drug. Whether, in fact, an antidepressant drug your client manufactured made people want to kill themselves. Your Honor, I'm simply trying to, to make sure that my symptoms won't be a distraction. A part of my voir dire is to determine who will have a problem with my condition and who will not. Makes sense to me, Mrs. Florek. Overruled. As I was saying, I don't want my symptoms to be a distraction, but I have to tell you that, that they do intensify when I become perplexed, and I'm, I'm just, I'm really transparent that way. So, I, for example, I don't want you to be distracted when my opponents are questioned. Objection! So, are we going to have a trial at some point? Your Honor, Mr. Canning is trying yet again to taint this jury. I, I, I was helping you this time. I just don't want my movements to be a distraction. No, sir. You're guaranteeing that the jury will be watching you throughout our testimony to see how you react. My God. The, the, the cynicism here is breathtaking. 
Uh, have you thought maybe you might have a problem with disabled people? Oh, you're all right, all right, Mr. Canning, let's try to keep the pain outrage to a minimum here.